The Robani Eye Action Game Starter Pack comes bundled with a number of single and team player robotic games. For ease of use, the games are referred to by their unique numbers. The game accessories are used to define the playing field for each game. The Colors Game, or Game Number 1, is one of three games that have been preloaded on the robot. Colors is an entry-level, single-player game that will teach you the basics of robotic gaming. To play the Colors game, you have to lay out the playing field as shown. Insert the reference card for the Colors game into the slot on the remote control. And place the robot next to the base station. To start the game, Toggle gaming mode by pressing and holding both trigger buttons on the remote for a short while. A circled number one numeral to indicate single player games will flash. Select it by pressing the right trigger button. Use the left trigger button to toggle through the numbers of all the single player games on the robot. Select game number one by using the right trigger button. The countdown for the game will begin and the game will start. The Colors game is a race against time to see how many colors you can load before the game is over. The game begins on level 1 and will go to more difficult levels as the game progresses. A colored LED light will light up on the remote. Load the color with your Robani Eye by driving over the Unihub of the same color and deposit the color at the SFX Hub by driving over it. Load multiple colors in the sequence that they light up on the remote. On level 2, the base station's LEDs will flash at random times. Maneuver your robot so that it's not further than 3 feet away from the base station and shoot it by pressing the right trigger button on your remote. On level 2, your Robani eye will also begin to consume energy. He will drive really slowly if his energy is low. You can recharge your robot at the energy port. On level 3, you have to collect the pod and drive around with it to increase your score when you deposit a color. The game finishes when the game time runs out and Robani I will do a victory dance. The final score will be displayed on the remote's LCD and Robani I will freeze. Press the right trigger button to reactivate drive mode and to take control of your robot. Another preloaded game is Space Pods, an exciting multiplayer game which can be played by either two or four players. Lay out the playing field as shown. Place the robots next to the base stations before starting the game. Insert the reference card for the Space Pods game or game number five into the slot of the remote control. One of the players will be the host of the game and the other players will join him. To host a game, press both trigger buttons and hold them in for a short while to activate game mode. Use the left trigger button to toggle multiplayer games, the circled number two numeral, and select it with the right trigger button. Select the host icon with the right trigger button. The game number will be displayed. Toggle the game numbers with the left trigger until game number 5 is displayed and select it with the right trigger button. To join a game, do the following. Make sure that the robots are placed at their right locations with Team 1's robots next to their base station and Team 2's robots on the opposite side next to their base station. The players that want to join the host should now press and hold both trigger buttons on their remotes for a few seconds. They will automatically be joined to the host. When all the players have joined, the host will start the game by pressing the right trigger button. The objective of the game is to get maximum points by depositing the pod at your team's space station. To prevent your opponents from depositing the pod at their base station, you can shoot your opponent's robots with bullets that you load at any of the Unihubs. You can also load special effects at the SFX Hub when it becomes available. And you can execute the special effects when the time is right by pressing the left trigger button. 
The activity LEDs of the leading team's robots will be green, while the trailing teams will be red. The game ends when game time is over, or when one of the teams has switched on all four of their base station's LEDs. The winning team's robots will do a victory dance, and the final score will be shown on the remote's LCD. Press the left trigger button to view the opponent's score, or the right trigger button to revert back to drive mode.